Zucked. I mean, that's that's quite a provocative title. What's that, what's my, that referring to? My wife, well, you know, you get to decide. My <laughs> wife came up with the name, and it, since it's kind of a new word, we said, hey, people can decide it means whatever it means to them. Yeah. But in your book, among other things, uh, Roger, you say, quote, Facebook remains a threat to democracy and uh, that it continues to prioritize its business model over civic responsibilities. And I'll, I'll also note Facebook's official statement to us on your book, they say, we take criticism seriously. Over the past two years, we've fundamentally changed how we operate to better protect the safety and security of people using Facebook. The reality is Roger McNamee hasn't been involved with Facebook for a decade, which you don't dispute. No, in fact, I, to me, it's like completely irrelevant, right? There was a time I was very closely involved, and ever since, I've just been an observer. I'm a professional analyst. I saw things in the press that concern me. I saw things in the product that concern me. I went to them privately and tried to make them aware of my concerns. I spent three months trying to persuade them that this was really serious and uh, they politely but firmly declined to participate and I decided that it was too serious to let alone so I became an activist. You're also a shareholder. Do you I see am. yourself as sort of a shareholder activist because you yeah. haven't sold any stock? Well, I, mean, I sold stock in years past but since I got involved in this part, you know, writing a book at all, no. And the reason is very simple. I didn't want anybody to think that I was trying to tank the stock by my activism. My notion was I did very well from the stock. I'm going to hold it while I'm being an activist so that there's no confusion about what my goals are. Talk us through the timeline. It's 15 years old today, Facebook. Yeah. When did you first getting in, start getting involved with Mark Zuckerberg as an advisor and when did you realize something was awry? Was it a decade ago? Was it very no. recently? No, no, no. It was very recently. So Wilfred, it worked like this. Facebook was started in 2004. In 2006, I got a phone call from their head of privacy, Chris Kelly, who said, my boss has got a really serious issue to deal with and he needs somebody who's not conflicted, somebody who's been around a long time who knows how the game works. Would you take a meeting? And the key thing was the company was tiny and it had nine million in revenues before that point. And, but it was already obvious that it was special, that it was, I was convinced that they had broken the code on social networking because they had authenticated identity and real privacy controls. And I thought, with that, they could get to 100 million active users in English-speaking <laughs> countries. And I thought, that would make them as successful as Google was at that time, which would have been, in my world, a huge hit. 